Digital Tea Setup I'm going to discuss how to set the teas digitally. We're going to use academy.denka.com web-based software. You can make a login your own information. Starting from central teas does require specific inclination in XYZ location. Class 1 to 3 Jaw relationship makes the labial palatal inclination differently. Class 1 will be perpendicular setup to the ridge. Class 2, palatally inclined. Class 3, labially inclined. In central teeth, major distal inclination should be none, meaning you gotta make perpendicular to the ridges. And there's a two rotation you could set it up. Soft center. You are basically making center teeth following the arch. But the bold center setup, you making distal portion of the center teeth flaring out. Note that you do not make any major flaring on the center teeth. And the length will be the same as the occlusal rim or wax rim. So based on what we just learned, we position the central teeth accordingly and be careful you need to watch XYZ location. On the left hand side of the screen it will show you XYZ location and you could use the cursor in any position and allow you to move very detailed movement on this particular position. For ladder, also there's a two different setup, soft ladder or bold ladder setup. Depends on what you're looking for. You could soft ladder have a ladder neck in, long axis incline distally, and rotation will be immediately flare out, and the length of the ladder in size will be one millimeter less than a cruiser plane. On the other hand, the bold ladder setup will be perpendicular and no major distal inclination and making distal flare. And also the length of the incisor will be as the same as occlusal plane or wax rim position. So you can make a ladder T setup di differently depends on what the patient looking for. When you look at a little bit detail about the rotation, this is the mesial rotation for the ladder. So bring the mesial a little bit more facially. Or for bold setup, moving rotation from the distal. So this is for the bold setup. Depending on the patient age group, you could set the ladder teeth flat which means the same as inside center or half a millimeter up for younger patient you could make ladder incisor level as one millimeter shorter than the central incisor as you see in this picture so ladder setting up again you try to set it up according to what we learned and soft, you could set it up as a soft ladder, or depending on the case, you may use the bold setup. K9 also have its own specification. Rule number one, this is a frontal view. The neck has to be out, and incisor of K9 should be inward. This is the rule number one. Rule number two, only measure half of the facial surface should be shown from the frontal view. Rule number three, the vertical of K9 from the sagittal view should be perpendicular from the occlusal plane. Keep rule threes for the K9 setup and then you try to arrange it accordingly. Once you complete all the anterior teeth, 
symmetry should be achieved from 6 to 11 T setup before you moving on to the next step. Mandibular anterior teeth will have a four different specifications that you need to look into. First one is a vertical overlap that related to the maxillary and mandibular teeth position. Second specification is horizontal overlap. You should have one millimeter space between the lingual of the maxillary incisor versus the labial surface of the lower incisor. And then third one is inclination anterior posterior. And you could view by the sagittal plane. And last one is the inclination of long axis of the teeth, which will be perpendicular in this case. So these four parameters that you need should consider when you're setting up the anterior teeth of mandible. And again, it's important to have the vertical overlap and horizontal overlap will be in relationship from the maxillary teeth. So you need to check with the maxillary teeth. Make sure you have one millimeter over overlapping vertical and horizontal overlap, which is one millimeter space between maxillary mandibular teeth. And then following the lateral incisor will be same as center incisor. But now you need to look at maxillary center and lateral in regarding the overlapping. And the last piece setup will be the canine. Canine also following the same vertical overlapping that will be measured from the tip of the canine to the opposing dentition. So again, vertical overlap, horizontal overlap will apply to the canine teeth also. Again, the important parameter will be the symmetry. Regarding posterior teeth setup, posterior teeth will comes in a group, meaning four posterior teeth, premolar, molar, are all connected, attached together, so you could move without affecting occlusion. So the premolar start right next from the canine. The height will be the same as the canine tip to the half of the pear shaped pad in the posterior. This will determine the height of the posterior teeth position. And then there is a compensating curve built in in posterior teeth setup. From the first molar distal buccal uh, tip will be half a millimeter above Major buccal cuspid and another half a millimeter incrementally increase on the second molar major buccal cusp and the distal buccal cusp will have another half a millimeter higher. So it's overall one and a half a millimeter higher than the measure of first molar. So in posterior T setup in group. When you move around the position and angulation, it's move all together. So you just need to follow the specification regarding the position of the occlusal plane and try to look it up between the adjacent teeth and the half of parachute pad height. And also the buccal lingually, the second molar central groove should be in line with the central line of pear shape pad. Once you complete the setup of posterior teeth, now it's time to check the detail. By checking the score, you could see the which teeth are far off from the ideal position by showing the red color and then change minor adjustment to achieve better score. Our goal is Movement and rotation should be above 90%.